Hi there, I'm Dale Mathis coming to you from my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. And this is tips and tricks number two for the Roland FR8X Digital Accordion, Dale Mathis edition. And today, what I'm going to talk about is what does the palm bar do and what do these three little buttons up on top here do? So first, let's talk about the palm bar. Uh, this is Dale Mathis edition. So if you have an 8X that is not Dale Mathis edition, uh, these uh, things are going to be different because everything is programmable on this instrument. So on a traditional acoustic accordion, this is called the master bar. Well, on the uh, 8X, I call it the palm bar because it can be programmed to do different things, just as these chin switches uh, are programmable. So when the accordion is first turned on, again, this is Dale Mathis edition, um, what it does, if I hit a different register, and hit the palm bar, it does in fact act as a master bar. So, it always brings me back to master. But, if I turn on an orchestral sound, uh, so let's just pick one out here. And then hit the palm bar, it goes back to accordion. But if I change my accordion sound, like right now it's on master, and I'm going to change it to uh, this little musette here. And if I hit the palm bar, it's going to go back to that orchestral sound. Hit the palm bar. It's going to come back to the accordion sound, not master. If I didn't have master turned on, it's going to come back to whatever accordion sound I had last turned on. And of course, this is a great way to build your own user programs. Because if there is uh, an instance, uh, for example, where you want this sound of... what you want and you want to be able to get to that very quickly what you're going to do is save that into one of your own user programs and of course on the 8x model there are 1400 possible places where you can store a user program okay so now uh, going back between orchestra 2 and accordion you can also program in organ or orchestra one, or a combination of those, or, you know, so like if I take the organ and hit the palm bar, it's going to go back and forth. But I can also make a combination of organ and accordion by hitting both of those together. And if I hit the palm bar, and it's just the accordion. Bring them both together. So where this comes into a play is uh, I'm going to go to the orchestra one, which is my quarterbox sound. And an accordion sound. Let's pick this one, bassoon, and I'll put them together. And now if I hit the palm bar, I'll get just accordion. much more applicable than just a master bar. So now we're going to do another thing. I'm going to go into user program and uh, let's see, uh, which one do I want to pick? Oh, I'm going to take register number four 
This is in bank one, which is the mandolin. And as soon as I hit the palm bar, I get a musette. So uh, all of the Dale Mathis programming with all of the, well, I think I've got about 34 banks. Uh, and each bank has 14 registers in it because you've got 14 tabs. So all of those are programmed so that the master bar has a function, master bar, palm bar, has a function that brings you back to accordion. And so you can switch back and forth between orchestra and accordion very easily. So like one of the examples that I often uh, will use is in uh, user programs, I'm going to go to bank 19. So I'm just going to use my jump function here. One, nine and then one. In this bank, every one of the sounds is an accordion. But when you hit the palm bar, it's a saxophone. purchase a 8x from well, Dale Mathis edition so whether you have an older one that you purchase from Crown Music or uh, one of the new ones now from Kraft Music up in Milwaukee um, they all have this same programming in and you get a list from me as far as what sounds are going to come up in your user programs alrighty so that's a brief explanation about what that palm bar is doing. The next thing that I want to discuss is what are these three chin switches doing up here? There, these three buttons are actually able to access 77 different functions. So yes, 77 different things depending upon what they're programmed to do. So when you pick out one of the functions then you have to memorize it into the accordion. So if I just turn off this accordion and turn it back on again, so we're at a zero starting point. Now in the Dale Mathis programming, uh, at the moment I've got these chin switches turned off. And the reason I've got them turned off is because some folks were playing uh, in, I guess in some of the user programs, and they they have a different body shape than I do, let's put it that way. And so their chin was very close to um, the top of the accordion. Now I can't reach them personally, whether I'm sitting down or if I'm, especially if I'm standing, because I do a lot of standing uh, strolling playing. So I just can't reach them. So for me, they're, they're like uh, not usable. But uh, what can happen is if they happen to be in the mode where they're told to change registrations, when you're moving the bellows around and your chin is close, you might change registrations right in the middle of a song and not know that you had done it. This has happened twice where I've gotten phone calls now. Uh, and the first time it happened, I could not figure out how this person could be changing registrations in the middle of the song and she wasn't touching anything. Well, eventually I figured it out that she, her chin was touching one of these buttons and it changed registrations. So anyhow, um, to show you uh, right now these buttons, if I hit one, there's no change. But I'm going to use my set button here and I'm going to go to set number one. And now, this bar does act as, in concerto, uh, set number one acts as a master bar. But if I hit one of the chin switches, it changed registration. Uh, this one was to the celeste. If I hit the middle one, it changed to the clarinet. And if I hit the one on the end here, it changed to bassoon. So this whole thing comes out of the Russian Bayon accordions where they've, it's a much larger keyboard. You know, the, there's 41 keys on the uh, 8X model. 
but these Bayon models, which are like these 45 pound accordions that uh, some of the Russian players use, um, they've got 45 keys on them. So the keyboard uh, is longer, and they, so that brings that closer to your chin, and I think they hold them differently. Instead of placing the bottom of the accordion between your legs, I think they hold them on top of their legs. And so then you can reach those switches easier. So that's where that original function came out of. But on the roll-on accordion, as I mentioned, this, uh, these switches can be told to do 77 different things. So like one of the functions, uh, there's this module that Roland used to make. It's no longer made, but it's called the BK7M. And it's a MIDI module that would provide backing tracks or rhythm accompaniment. So when you have that unit plugged in, when you hit a chord button, uh, the drums uh, would play a, like a major chord and you'd get the, the bass part, and you'd get the drum part, and you'd get a guitar part, and all of that stuff could be, pro, could be controlled by these three switches. You could control the start and stop of the unit, you could control if you wanted a little drum solo, or if you wanted to switch to one, to one of the variations. So that's one of the functions of these switches. Another one is uh, they could be told to move up to a new registration. So how to access this? I'm going to go into my editor, and uh, so you hit the menu, edit button, and turn the registration, or the, the knob, uh, to, uh, let's see, bank 13, or menu page 13, push the knob in, and then page one, two, three, four, five, page five, 13.5 is chin function. And so what I'm looking at right now is uh, it's programmed so that chin one is register one, chin two is register 12, chin three is register 10. So one of the variables is I could pick any register number from uh, one through 14 to make these chin switches programmed to, but I'm going to pick something different here. So let's just go through, I can turn the, if I had a module on, I could turn the drums on and off, so that's one of the things I just went to. Um, oh, there's a looper on this accordion, so you can turn that on and off with the chin switches. Uh, you can uh, turn on the record function with the chin switches. And, oh, let's see, what are these other things here? Oh, the Leslie speaker function, you know, the rotary function. Um, if I turn that, let's pick an organ sound here. And right now, I've got chin one programmed to do rotary fast, so let's program it to do rotary slow, so. Here it's slow down. So if I have it go fast again. And, and of course, uh, going fast in normal mode is just by touching, the, pushing more pressure on the keys. I'm going to slow it down by pushing the chin switch. So that's one of the functions. Um, you can, oh, you can program it to go fast and slow. So you can, like right now it's slow, I can hit it again. And it'll go fast, hit it again. It'll go slow, fast, slow. Okay, so that's that. Um, if we can have it, oh, pitch down. <laughs> Watch this one. Let's see. working yesterday. Uh, let's see. There we go. It works in the accordion. How about this? <laughs> okay. There's that one. Now you can have it go pitch up a uh, whole step. Not quite sure how you would use that, but anyhow it's there. Um, endings and variations for the drum unit again. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, registration up, so. So, you can change your registration.
vibration here. So that's what the chin switches do. Now, uh, these same 77 functions, there is also a pedal that Roland makes called the FC300. And all of these same functions can be controlled with your feet. So if you get this pedal, which is you know, somewhere around between five and six hundred dollars for this unit, and then you plug a cord into your uh, MIDI cable or MIDI jack down on the bottom of the accordion. Uh, so you've got, I believe, there's nine foot switches on that uh, pedal unit, and so you can program those for any of these 77 functions. So. Uh, and that FC300 also has an expression pedal on it. So there are some folks who can't use the bellows at all and so we put it in, into lock mode or fixed mode and then you can control the expression of the accordion with that expression pedal. So how about that? A lot of information for tip number two, tips and tricks number two. So tomorrow I'll have some more stuff for you on the F. R8X Dale Mathis edition accordion, which is only available from Kraft Music in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I'll put their little uh, website here, craftmusic.com. And if you're interested in purchasing one, we've got them. The 8Xs are in stock, the 4Xs are in stock, the 1X is in stock. I'll put David Hall's phone number in here. He's my inside guy at Kraft Music. And finally, at dalemathisaccordion.com, that's where I've got a lot of free sheet music, a lot of free lessons on video, and a lot of helpful information on the instructions tab. You just click on that instructions tab and you'll see all these videos explaining a lot of these things that I talk about. And it's in a handy place because, you know, I've got like 1,200 videos out in my channel and trying to find something that I did a couple of years ago is going to be pretty tough. So I put them on the instruction uh, tab of the dalemathisaccordion.com. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you later.